Hey, good morning. We've had a pretty good stretch of seeding days here, so there hasn't been much much videoing done or much different being done by me, just back and forth 15 hours a day in the tractor. So today we're on our second last field of canola. Uh, it's going very well. I'm confident enough to take my eyes off some of these monitors to uh, shoot a quick video here. And it's going to be about what all these monitors do in the tractor. So we're coming to the end of the field here. The first thing I'm going to uh, explain is our blockage system. We didn't buy a specific we didn't buy a, like a John Deere or, or something, we bought an off-brand and it's the, the Legend Eggtron monitors. We have them on our flexi coil, and they work very well for us. Comparing it to, n knowing nothing about any of the other blockage monitor systems, I would say this has to be the best one. I can't imagine it getting any better. Uh, it's reasonably priced and, and they are phenomenal. So this is how they work. So they're all green, which means there's seed going through them. I'm gonna shut the master switch off and that'll be the beep. And you can see that right away, things start to turn red as the hoses clear out. So the group of 10 is the seed and the one by itself is the fertilizer. We didn't feel the need to spend the money on the fertilizer ones doing every single run because uh, basically if it's, you know, you still gotta check the drill visually when you get out and fill it and stuff like that because you're checking for more than just blockage and that's when you can notice it and you can assume that if they're all you know if they're not blocked they're probably not all the hoses are blocked so I've kicked it back in and I'm lined back up and you can see that yeah they all they all turn back on so this particular system has two modes of operation you can do just blockage mode where it will just tell you if there's seed going through the tube or not I actually have it set up right now in seed rate mode so they actually won't turn on until the proper amount of seed is going through. And it'll tell you 18 seeds a second, 20 seeds a second as you go. So they're all the same and they have to be within that threshold. I'm not sure what it is, plus or minus 5%. So you'll see the odd time one will turn red and that's just because the way the distribution is set up at the tower, the she seeds shoot up through one big two inch hose into a tower and from there, they just get deflected into one of 10 hoses. So the odd time you'll have more seeds go down maybe eight of the hoses, like, like there. That one got a little, a few less seeds at that time, but then it, you know, it straightened itself back out. Really cool system, we really like it. Uh, every seed drill I own going forward in my life, as long as Legend is around, we'll have the Legend system. Then you come to your big screen. This is the tank monitor. Uh, this is the drill monitor. This is a precision drill, so every shank has a hydraulic ram, and that keeps this consistent pressure to keep the seed at the same depth. There's some adjustments to be made in here. I don't really leave it on the screen because the, the one with the tank is more important. This is the tank here. There was tank sensors. I shut them off. That's why that's on there, I think, or whatever. I don't know because they're expensive. They're like six or 700 bucks, I think, a sensor, and cameras are like 260 bucks a piece. So we put wireless cameras in our drill, or in our tank. That's fertilizer, that's seed. It's way better than guessing, because what would happen is there'd be a little bit of orange in here. This would fill up orange as it filled up. So you have to guess, right? Like, well, if there's only a eighth of an inch of orange, how much is that? Where now you can just look and see that, oh, I have lots of fertilizer, I have lots of seed. This is a remote switch for the uh, for the tank as well. You can shut your meters off. Our air tank has three tanks, seed, fertilizer, and the middle one, I guess, is for more fertilizer or whatever you want to do. Maybe inoculant on peas, stuff like that. We're not using the middle one, so that switch is off. These two are on. That's a master switch, and these are to bump up the seeding rate if you want, because this is a variable rate drill. So you can adjust it from the cap. Lastly is our a GPS system. Lots of the newer tractors, you probably won't see an independent system. It's all integrated. Ours is not. This is a 2006, uh, and this system came out around the same time. So it has a steering wheel, driver, motor, and then there's a terrain compensating box under the seat to measure the roll and the pitch of the tractor. 
<clears throat> it took us a few years to get it figured out. These guys kind of lost out in our area because of the, they didn't, it was, it was new and the service wasn't so great around it or the support, but really good system. As far as I know, most drills are similar. They may have one extra box or one less box or there's different uh, upgrades, I guess you can get for better monitors or, or whatever, whatever you want to do, right? Uh, this drill is about a 2016 and that tank is about a 2010 or 11 or something. So they're not the newest of the new, but it's pretty new. There's some more, uh, one feature that I kind of wish I had was sectional control on the drill. We have it on our sprayer and uh, with, the, with the cost of inputs and everything going up, that stuff actually does pay for itself as long as it works. If you have to keep throwing money at it and buying parts, then you, you're, you may be better off to just deal with the overlap and the overseeding because overseed isn't wasted. You know, if you fertilize a little extra, it's not wasted. And if you see a little heavier, it's not really wasted either. It's in the ground and it's there. It's just, it, it more comes into play your planning, you know? So we need basically one bag of canola seed for every 10 acres. This field is 148 acres. So if we buy 15 bags of seed, we should be able to get it. Often we find that we need 16 bags or 16 and a half bags because we drive around the wet spots and then there's a little bit of overlap at the end and all this other stuff. And pretty soon with a 50 or a 60 foot air drill, it really doesn't take that long to get seven or eight or nine or 10 or 11 extra acres of overlap, which is all of a sudden another bag. So if you, uh, if you already realize that and you're a realist and you know that that's what you need, then you buy the extra stuff when you need it. Um, usually it's not that big of a problem because they have it at the, uh, at the dealers. So sectional control would be nice. As far as other technology, there also is variable rate getting pretty big, which uh, when you tie that into your field mapping, what it does is, uh, <coughs> so you go with your combine and uh, it measures the yield and it changes as you go down the field and up, up on the hill and down in the low spot, your yield changes. Then they take a soil sample truck and they drive around your field and they do a bunch of soil samples. And then they enter that information into a program and they program that into your drill monitor. And actually as you're driving around seeding, your seed rate and your fertilizer rate will change so it'll put more fertilizer down and or more seed or whatever is is needed as per your yield from the previous year and your soil samples some guys have been trying that around here uh, there's one thing that's undeniable when somebody tries something new they will tell you it's absolutely the best money they ever spent it'll only be a few years later that the truth will come out to if it was if it was good or not that's totally standard universal with with everything in a if a guy buys a new tractor it is the absolute best tractor he's ever bought it was the best deal it was the best price they didn't make a better tractor ever and then like four years later you'll find out it's a total piece of shit and it doesn't work and it's been broke down for the last two years the guy just kept it hidden away in the shed <clears throat> that's how it goes so i don't know the total benefit of the uh field mapping variable rate system I think we have the capability to do it. We just don't have the program. Like we have all the hardware for it, but we don't have the program. And we're not, we're not at that level. That's, not, that's a level of, of intense operation that we think is probably unnecessary. We probably aren't hitting the, the recommended anyways, you know, fertilizer application, seed rate, cam application, stuff like that. I mean, we're, we, don't, we don't do a terrible job, but we're probably not, we're probably not there. We're not ready to take that next step. First, we just got to get to the, you know, but th those are really the only other two things I can think of off the top of my head that would be additions to your seating equipment, sectional control, and then uh, the actual field mapping and, and using the variable rate side of the technology. So anyways, that's going to be it for me. There hasn't been a lot to shoot over the last couple days, just back and forth, back and forth. So as always, thank you to those who watch and we'll see you all on the next one.